All right, good evening, guys, ladies. Welcome to Dewpoint. Welcome to everyone who's tuned in on our live stream around the country. My name is Rob van der Bell. I'm one of the executives here at Dewpoint. I'm going to be spending about 45 minutes or so with you as we go through what Dewpoint is all about, who we are, um, and what this opportunity is all about. Um, after the presentation, you're welcome to come speak to me. You can come ask me any questions that you might have. Um, so let's begin. As you can see, we're a division of a company called Constantia Insurance Company Limited. Constantia is a registered insurance company in South Africa. We've been around for a very long time, for nearly 70 years, because we were founded in 1952, so we've been around for a while. Uh, we don't share offices with Constantia, but they are just down the road here in Randburg. Uh, the FSP number that we operate under, so our financial services provider number, that's our license to operate in financial services, that one that you see over there. Um, and you'll notice in the foyer um, above the water cooler, We've got all these certificates up on the wall. Those are our financial services board licenses. So you can go find those on our website too. Uh, but we've got a long and short term insurance license. We've got an investment license. We've got our FSP license. Um, and we've also put up our accreditation with the Direct Marketing and the Direct Selling Association. So for us, it's very important that uh, anyone, guests that come to our office, that watch us over the live stream, find this business credible, right? Any business proposition is always predicated on trust. So you have to trust this business for you to be able to make any decisions. So I want you to trust the business. Um, that's why we discuss um, the licenses that we have up front. You can go Google us. We are registered, uh, or not registered, but we uh, are listed on the Joburg Stock Exchange under a group called Conduit Capital. So go do whatever background check you need to do uh, to trust this business that we're going to be speaking about. The managers and executives are these individuals up on screen. So starting with the first three uh, characters on the left, uh, they are all registered chartered accountants in South Africa. So Mr. Brendan Benfield, he's our senior executive. He heads up this division. He's got a lot of experience in financial services, particularly in insurance, because his father is a professor of insurance. And I think if you grow up with a father who's the professor of insurance, uh, you are going to be well-versed in the insurance industry. And so Brendan and his brother Stuart, they followed in their father's footsteps. Um, and as a family, they've had a lot of success in the financial services industry. They've started uh, businesses in South Africa that have been very successful uh, in Europe. They've helped found uh, businesses in Australia. So we've got some wonderful uh, financial pedigree in Mr. Benfield there. And then Tim and Stacey, they look after all our financial requirements, which is uh, typically the auditing, accounting, um, and a lot of the f regulatory aspects that we have to deal with, which is an endless list of stuff that we have to deal with, unfortunately. And then Jane and myself, we are the two non-accountants in the business. Uh, you can see the accountants are ignoring us. Can you see they're speaking amongst themselves, they're ignoring us over here. But Jane and I, we're trying to pretend that we understand what they're talking about. Jane has got some tremendous experience in uh, network marketing or referral marketing. She's actually from the UK. She's been doing it for a very long time. Uh, she's been in South Africa for almost a decade now, uh, but her experience is fundamental to our business because even though we're an insurance company, our growth in this market is dependent on our ability to work in the network marketing space. And so Jane's experience for our team uh, is very important. And then myself, I've been working in uh, advertising pretty much all my career since I left school almost. Uh, um, I ran my own digital agency for uh, almost two decades. Uh, and a lot of that experience was in the financial services industry. So we did a lot, or my agency did a lot of work uh, for uh, the big banks in South Africa. Um, but our mandate as staff of Dewpoint is to support everybody that joins us here. The people that, the guests that decide to become wealth engineers here and decide to uh, partner with us and start collaborating with us, everything that we do here as staff is to support you to support you to become profitable and successful, not just to support you, right? We want to see people being effective um, as wealth engineers in this business so that they can change their circumstance. Um, so that's the focus of everybody here at Dewpoint. So know that you're never alone when you join this business. Very quickly, we discuss the circumstance that we find ourselves in. It's just dire, isn't it? You just... It's not even worth listening to anymore, is it? You listen to the radio and you listen to politicians and economists. Ah, oh, it's been the same story for the last 10 years, right? And I trust that the people watching this presentation, you guys, are tired of that. 
are tired of being subject to that circumstance. Whether you're in debt or whether your retirement looks terrible, or whether you don't like your job, but you need to now do something that's going to change that circumstance. And you want to take control of it. You don't want to wait for the economy. You don't want to wait for your boss, for your company. You need to do it yourself. And that's really what the opportunity is in this business, is the opportunity to do something for yourself, to put effort in and get results. Right? And so out of all that neg negativity, uh, as a business, Constantia saw the opportunity to build this division called Dewpoint. We launched it uh, just over two years ago. We call it the Dewpoint system, and we've got a number of aspirations in mind for people in this business, not just creating additional income. We want people to have a paradigm shift with regards to money, to finance, to wealth creation, because what the business is about is about creating wealth. Right? So we use the term engineering wealth, reward yourself first. We call the people that join us wealth engineers. But we know that the general population, the majority of South Africans are indebted and find themselves in a debt cycle. And debt cycles are crippling. You even get generational debt, where debt is passed on from one generation to the next. And we know you cannot start focusing on building wealth unless you get rid of your debt first. And so we hope that people that join this business and start making additional income will actually aspire to becoming debt-free. Putting that money, not spending more money, but actually putting that money into debt so they can become someone who's debt-free. Now imagine what that must feel like. It must feel awesome to be debt-free. Imagine at the end of the month when you don't get any SMSs from the bank saying debit orders are going off your account. None. Not one debit order. Everything you've paid up. You pay for your kids' school fees a year in advance. You want to be one of those parents, right? Who ticks that checkbox in the application form at the beginning of the year? Pay one year up front. Right? You're trying to pay every month to month, hoping you make it. We want to change that circumstance for people. Once you become debt free, then you can start focusing on wealth. And we create wealth through the ownership of assets, actually owning assets and investments that appreciate. And then ultimately, what all of this means, building wealth is in the hope just to be happier. We're hoping that being wealthy will change our circumstance so that we're happier. So those are the aspirations we have for people in this business. That is the language that we speak here at Dewpoint. We talk about wealth creation. We talk about principles that go way beyond just making money. It's about thinking differently about creating wealth here at Dewpoint. And we're hoping that wealth engineers will push into that and immerse themselves into that change. So how does this work, our guests? You have the opportunity to join Dewpoint this evening. Uh, it basically works like this. Uh, once you go through an application form, which takes you about seven minutes, you become a wealth engineer. And as wealth engineers, uh, you have a single task here at your point, and that is to build what we call a channel of distribution. So I'll show you what a channel of distribution looks like shortly. Um, but basically, it is you connecting other people to the business. The same way you were connected to this presentation, you're going to go out and do the same thing. You're going to tell people about the business opportunity. And if you're successful in that process, if you can get people to come sit down and watch an intro, uh, um, and they decide they want to become wealth engineers and our online platform, our website, facilitates the sale of products to those people. That successful process leads to a number of benefits, foremost obviously being additional income. So that's why you're here extra money, an extra paycheck at the end of every single month. But the nature of the income that we produce here is what we call recurring income. Uh, some people refer to it as passive income. My father explained it very nicely. He says the ability to make money while you're sleeping. If you knew that was even possible. Did you even know that was possible? You could make money while you were sleeping? Most of us don't because we know we only get paid for going to work and for nothing else. In this business, this is actually something, recurring income is something that's inherent to insurance companies because we build what we call a book value. A book value has this intrinsic asset value that pays us every single month going forward, right? And you get to share in that benefit. You can do work in June 2018 that will pay you next month, the month after that, the month after that, potentially in six months' time, a year's time, you'll still be earning money that you earned or from effort that you put in in June 2018. In five years' time, you could still be earning a recurring income from effort that you put in five years ago. That is the ability to make money while you're sleeping. It frees you of time constraint. We've got power duplication, which also frees you from time constraint. It is the ability to leverage yourself or duplicate yourself. Because if you're able to go out and find resourceful people 
that can help you build your channel, that is you duplicating yourself. If you find 10 other people that put in the same amount of time into building your channel with you, you've just duplicated yourself 10 times. And guess what happens? Your recurring income can go up by 10 times, right? So the system uses leverage. Flexi time, you get to decide when you want to do this business. You can do it before work, during lunch, maybe even at work if you've got a break. Instead of while the smokers are smoking, you can do some business on the phone. You can do it after work. You can do it at midnight, three in the morning. You can do it in any town in South Africa. There is no limitation to when you can do this business. Don't make the mistake of only doing it when you feel like it. Because if you only do things when you feel like it, it leads to giving up very quickly like New Year's resolutions and hobbies and those type of things. This is a business, a true entrepreneurial opportunity that can change your life. You need to kind of see it with all that seriousness, right? And keep yourself accountable to doing this work, this hard work about building a channel of distribution. There's no startup capital, so we don't have registration fees. We're not going to ask you to buy starter kits. There's no boxes of product that you have to buy before you get started. We make this business as low risk as possible. As low risk as possible so that it becomes more accessible to the average South African. The business is not designed to burden people. Right? The business is designed to be an equal opportunity for people to change their circumstance. At the same time, we don't care about qualifications or experience. Did anyone bring their CVs with them tonight? Ma'am, did you bring your CV? Yeah. Good. We don't care about CVs, right? We could care less about your experience. All we care about really is about work ethic. How hard are you willing to work to change your circumstance? That's what we care about. You get to build an asset. Now this is an asset. This channel of distribution is treated as an asset that you have ownership over. Right? That's very important. When I say you own this channel of distribution, what does that mean? It means you can sell it. Do you know how much money you need to have in a bank account to create 5,000 rands worth of recurring income? Does anyone even know the answer to that? You need a million rand in a bank account. To produce 5,000 Rand a month. When you get to retirement, that's the question you're going to ask yourself. Because you're going to have to look at your retirement fund, your pension, and go, how much money have I saved? Because that has to support you for the next 30, 40 years. Or you're going to be one of those pensioners going out looking for a job. You need a million Rand to pay yourself out 5,000 Rand a month. Can anyone live on 5,000 Rand a month? I don't think so. I did an exercise with a bunch of people the other day. I said, can you live on 10,000 Rand a month? Everyone shook their head. I said, can you live on 15,000 Rand a month? Everyone shook their head. I said, okay, well, now we're going north of 3 million Rand that you need in your pension fund. Who's planning to have 3 million Rand in their pension fund? And everyone shook their head again. I said, great, I've got an audience here that's going to work their bums off this year because they need to. You have to. You don't have a choice. This asset that you're building, if you're producing recurring income of 10, 15,000 Rand a month, that's equivalent of having a 2, 3 million Rand asset. You can sell it to somebody. Dew point doesn't retire you either. When you get to 60, 65, your boss is going to call you into the office and say, you're getting a bit old. Let's buy you a cake and a gold watch and send you on your way. Right? And then your income ends. Ends. It doesn't halve. It doesn't go to 25%. It goes to zero when you can least afford it. Because who hires 60, 65 year olds in this market? Dewpoint will carry on paying you through your 60s. You'll keep earning a recurring income into your 70s, into your 80s, into your 90s. How long are you going to live till? I saw an article, or I heard an article the other day on the radio, an advert, I think. Have you heard on the advert? They're talking about people being born today potentially going to live to 200 because of the advances in medicine and healthcare. Who wants to live to 200? I don't think I want to live to 200, to be honest. Right? This business will keep paying out beyond death. When you die, because it's treated as an asset, it doesn't disappear. You will need to put in your will who you're leaving your dew point business to. Who would like to pass wealth on to their children? No one? You're all going to pass debt on to your children? Statistically, majority of us will pass debt on to our children. 
but perhaps the few dew point wealth engineers that put hard work in can pass wealth on. And then the kids will put up a picture on the mantelpiece of you and say, that's the mom or dad that passed wealth on. But if you pass debt on, there's going to be no photos of you in the house. Right? Legacy. So you get the opportunity to build legacy in this business. There's no selling involved in our business. Um, so what does that mean? Uh, people get a bit confused by that. They think, well, what are we going to be doing at Point? Like I said earlier, you're only going to be connecting people to the business opportunity. You're not going to go out and sell insurance and investment products. Right? That's very important to note. People want to default to that. They want to. Right? I'm telling you, you don't speak publicize, promote, or publish anything about our products. You don't need to. You need to connect people to a business opportunity. Right? We separate our business in half. We've got products on one side that we deal with, not you, and then we've got the business opportunity that you guys get to deal with. And that's what you're going to be promoting, the business opportunity, opportunity to make an extra income, an additional paycheck. People are more interested in that than hearing about insurance products anyway, right? So you'll have more success when you try to connect people to that opportunity. At the same time, our financial products aren't tangible. Like I said, we don't have boxes of products that you have to take home tonight. And there's a lot of convenience in that because we don't have stock and distribution issues. You're not going to phone us at reception and say, on Friday I'm coming with my uncle's bucky, I need to pick up... 40 boxes of milkshakes, right? You don't have those issues. We've got IT systems that take care of all the stock and distribution. You don't even have to think about it, right? It happens automatically in the cloud, so to speak. And so those are the benefits, but your success here at Point is very much dependent on your ability to build a channel of distribution. So I remember I said I was going to tell you, show you what one looks like. It begins with you. You become a wealth engineer, you take out one of our products, and now you're going to focus on connecting other people to Point. If you are successful, and in this example you've been successful with five people, right? So five people said, okay, let's listen to it. And they went, wow, this sounds like a great opportunity. I want to be a wealth engineer and they took out one of our products and from that point on some of those people are going to go out and start building their channels in turn your channel and after a certain amount of time this is what your channel could look like every single dot is a person represented by a product in your channel you could be potentially earning money off of every single dot that you see on the screen not once off recurring every single month. So if it took you f one month to find those first five people in June 2018, you could still be earning off of all of this five years down the line. And that is the power of duplication. Your efforts are not based, or your results are not based solely on your efforts. But there is one thing that you have to be discerning about. is about who are those five people that you've brought into your business. Are these people that are desperate random strangers that you found that just wanted to earn income? Or did you go hand select people that you wanted in your business? Because if you don't care who comes into your business on your first point, I promise you that behavior is going to filter into the rest of your business. You have to be discerning. You have to find the best quality people. I often compare it to you being the CEO and that first point those first people that you introduce being your board of executives, your board of directors. And if you build a board of directors, do you go find anyone who's willing to want to, or anyone that wants to earn money? No, you'll have 10 million people at your doorstep. You have to go find the people that you think that will thrive in this business, that will help you in your business, not be a burden to you in the business, right? So that's my tip. Be discerning at that point because that behavior filters into your channel. I want you to build a sustainable, strong channel that will stand the test of time. And it's dictated to by your behavior in the beginning. All right, so this is our disclaimer slide, or should I say our warning slide. Some people might... Uh, have the assumption that we're a get-rich-quick scheme, right? Um, anyone, you can wink at me and just say, yeah, I thought maybe it was one of those. That is just a reflection of the society we live in today. We have, have a lot of businesses in South Africa. I can't speak for the rest of the world, but I'm sure it happens everywhere else. Lots of business coming through South Africa pretending to be business opportunities, right? And then this coin, this term has been coined a get-rich-quick scheme. Because what happens in those instances, they offer people riches quickly. 
Right? So it used to be just get rich quick, and everyone was, yes, I want to be get rich quick. And then they found out that people were getting fleeced of their money, and the term became get rich quick scheme. We are not one of those schemes. We're a 70-year-old insurance company that's listed on the Joburg Stock Exchange. We've got very reputable people that work in this business. This is an authentic entrepreneurial opportunity that we've extended to the public. Traditionally, we've never engaged in this business through Constantia. Constantia has always only dealt with other businesses. But for the first time, we are now trying to address a social issue in South Africa, one that is economic, right? We want to be part of a solution and at the same time make money for ourselves and for you. And so it's in our interest to see people successful in this business, not in the short term, in the long term. And so unfortunately, if you've arrived here thinking, oh, well, I'm only interested in getting rich quickly, you're going to be disappointed. It doesn't exist in any sphere of life. It doesn't. Anything that's worth earning takes time. And so that's our warning. At the same time, Brennan and myself will never romanticize entrepreneurship. That's why we've got the picture of the ballerina's foot. You go watch the ballet, that's what you see. If you take the ballet pump off, that's what her foot looks like. That's the work that is required to become a professional. It is no different in business or entrepreneurship. 95% of businesses fail in their first year. Don't look at someone who's successful entrepreneurially and go, oh, they must have been lucky, or they knew someone, or they were in the right place at the right time. It's all about hard work and commitment. Is everyone thoroughly warned? Alrighty, let's talk about how you earn money in this business. First, let's talk about the products. We've got three financial products. You are free to consider one, two, or three products. It's a personal decision that you make uh, on your own. I'll go over them. They are fairly straightforward. Their benefit is all financial in nature. We start with Access Wealth. It's going to cost you 324 Rand a month. It is our investment product, right? So Access Wealth is an investment product. Um, 324 every, uh, 20, 324 Rand every month, of which 100 Rand gets invested into a tax-free uh, investment fund in your name. There's no notice requirement on that investment fund. That means you can draw your investment out at any stage. Right? You don't have to give us 30 or 60 days notice. And then at the same time, we give you some insurance on your investment. So we give you 120,000 rands worth of personal accident cover. So if you have this investment in place, you are killed in any form of accident. Uh, we will pay out your beneficiaries 120,000 rand, plus whatever is the investment. Right? So very straightforward product, um, 324 rand a month, our investment product, it's called Access Wealth. The second product is called Wealth Guard. Wealth Guard is strictly insurance, so it's only an insurance product. It costs you two, uh, 249 rand a month, and you get 1 million rands worth of personal accident cover with this. The beauty of this product is that it is accessible to anyone over the age of 18. What does that mean? It means we don't discriminate against against you with regards to your age or your health status, right? So we don't do blood tests or urine tests, we don't send a nurse, we don't ask you about your family medical history, we don't need to know any of that. So anyone over the age of 18, you can be 70, you can have cancer, you can still take out this insurance, it's still going to cost you 249 Rand regardless of your age or health, and you still get the full benefit of having a million Rands worth of personal accident cover. All right, so that's Wealth Guard, the insurance product. Then the third product is called Wealth Points. Wealth Points will cost you 299 Rand a month. And what this product aims to do is reduce your cost of living. So you know what you spend money on every single month, right? Month after month, there's a whole bunch of things that we typically spend on every month. What we've done with this product is we've approached a number of businesses that we've partnered with and negotiated discounts with them to try to reduce your cost of living, right? To save you money. So for example, uh, we've got... Uh, data partners, we've got grocery partners, we've got online retailers, uh, the entertainer offers us um, benefit with hotels, restaurants, live events, all kinds of things. We've got car manufacturers, uh, we've got health, we've got gyms, we've got all kinds of things there that cover pretty much the scope of what you're going to be spending on in your cost of living. So for example, always on Wi-Fi data, a gig will typically cost you 100 Rand, but through wealth points you only pay 36 Rand. Right? With most of the retailers, you're, only, you're paying or you're getting a discount of between two and a half and five percent on as much as you want to buy with those retailers. So there's no limit there. So this is a wonderful product if you're looking for immediate benefit. Um, 
If you have any questions around the products, come speak to me. Uh, but they've been designed to be straightforward. There's more information on our website and there's in-depth reviews on YouTube. If you want to watch a 30-minute review of each of the products, you can find it there. What separates us from other financial service providers? It's our marketing model, our network marketing model. So typically insurance companies and the Benfields, they own a number of insurance companies around the world, spend a fortune on advertising. Right? That's their primary method of growing in any economy, is they will do advertising on a daily basis, then the call center will take those calls and convert them into sales. Here at Dewpoint, we don't do that. We don't spend a cent on advertising. Has anyone heard us on the radio? Have you seen a billboard with Dewpoint on anywhere? Or an advert on your mobile phone? It's because we don't spend a cent on advertising. We don't do any advertising, right? What does that mean? It means that we don't spend the billions on marketing and advertising that the insurance industry spends every single year. We take that portion of our budget that we would have spent on advertising and we give it to our wealth engineers for the work that you guys do in connecting people successfully to this business. We rely on you for our growth in this market, right? And we pay you out or you benefit from Dewpoint in two ways, the returns program and the rewards program. So I'll go over the two. The returns program is the recurring income that you generate every month. It's that extra paycheck. It is the most important program here at Dewpoint, the extra paycheck that you produce every single month. So it works like this. We pay a base return fee of 27.50 for every product that you have in your channel. Remember the slide with all the dots on? Imagine earning 27.50 for every single dot on the slide every single month going forward. Right? So that's basically how it works. But it's dependent on where that product lies in relation to you. So the first five people that you introduce to Dewpoint, we call that your first point, right? Because that product is one point away from you. And for every product on your first point, you actually earn double the 27 Rand 50. So you're earning 55 Rand for every product on point one every single month going forward. And point two, exactly the same thing. So the five people that you introduced are going to go introduce other people. That product lies on your second point. And then as your channel starts to grow to the third point, to the fourth point, all the way down to the eighth point, you can keep on earning, right? But you see the multiplier starts to drop steadily. By 0.8 you're earning 4% of the 27 Rand 50, but you see there's a little plus next to the 0.8. That means we don't stop you at 0.8. We've got channels that are beyond 0.30 already in the space of 27 months. You can build your channel as big as you want it to be, right? You have the potential to earn on every single point in your business. There is no limitation on how much money you can earn here at Two Point. We don't have limitations. There's no year modes. We don't change anything. This is a fixed remuneration model. So this is the mechanics of how you earn money every single month through the returns program. Often we get to ask, the, well, the next question always is, well, how quickly can I earn a certain amount of money? It's that get-rich-quick scheme in the back of your head going, ask how quickly we can be a millionaire, right? Everyone wants to know that. I even want to know that. So what we did when we launched the business was we created a projection model, right? So it's a five-year plan, if you want to call it that. We call it the path to success. Um, and it is based on a premise, an assumption, that in your first month you can bring three people into your channel, right? Not five, three. And then every month after that you bring another two people. So in June you'll bring in three. In July you'll bring in two. August two. September two. October two. And you keep bringing two into perpetuity. Right? If you can follow that growth model, after six months you'll be earning about two and a half thousand rand a month. See, now you're bitterly disappointed with that number. Because when I saw the example, I was also disappointed. I said to the accountants, the number is too small. I'm from advertising. Things need to be big and attractive if you want, get to, if you want people to get excited. And I said to them, we need to make the number bigger after six months. Call it, instead of saying 2 plus 3, call it 5 plus 10 or something, right? And they said no. But what I've learned over the last two years is that I make the mistake of thinking like a consumer. I look at money two and a half thousand rand, and I immediately and automatically give it the value of its spending power. Think about how quickly two and a half thousand would last if I put it into your handbags and your wallets right now. How long will that money last? Maybe till tomorrow, right? Some people say, oh, 30 minutes. I don't know where they're going. Or I don't know how you can spend so much money so quickly on a Wednesday evening. But my point is the money doesn't last long because it is so easy to spend any amount of money on anything. The world is built around consumerism. Consumerism is the reason we're in a debt cycle. 
that we have the problems we have today. And so for me, I want to create that paradigm shift. I want people to think differently about money with regards to wealth creation. Because if you put two and a half thousand rand in someone's hands that is focused on wealth creation or investments, building assets, they know that the two and a half thousand rand actually has more value than just what you can buy with it. They don't spend it an hour later or the next day. Right? And I'm going to illustrate it to you because I know that everyone is indebted. 99% of the population is indebted. Right? Here we have an example of someone who's got a million rand bond with a bank. So they finance property or a house to the value of a million rand and they've agreed to pay the bank back over the next 20 years. Right? At prime plus two, you're going to be paying back 11,500 rand for 20 years before that house is transferred into your name. That's how a bond works. Every South African aspires to owning a house and paying it off for over 20 years. Some people even paid off for over 30 years, right? So if you're in this process and you're my age, you're 40, and you join Dewpoint, six months later you're earning this little 2,500 rand, and instead of spending the money, you decide to put it into your debt. So if you decide to pay your bond off a little faster, it doesn't take you 20 years to pay this house off. That 2,500 rand will allow you to pay that house off in nearly half the time. 20% extra into your bond will result in your bond term being reduced by nearly 50%. It saves you nearly 1 million rand in repayments. Bang, suddenly you've got an extra million rand for your retirement fund. Just like that, with putting in 2,500 rand into debt. It is the first step. It is almost pointless investing money if you have debt. Did you realize that? Because no investments outperform what you're being charged on a debt. You always put money where the biggest interest rate is. If you're being charged 9% interest, you pay that off before you invest in something that gives you 6%. Get rid of the debt as quickly as possible. It's costing you more than investment can make for you. Right? At 12 months, you're earning already 100,000 Rand extra every year. That's 12 months away. Who would like 100,000 Rand every single year? Come to Dewpoint's head office in December, we write out a 100,000 Rand check. It's not a bad deal, is it? Right? It gets a little more exciting now because after 24 months, suddenly we've jumped up to nearly 30,000 rand a month. We keep pushing, and the number's only going to get bigger. After 36 months, you're close to 50,000 rand a month. After 48 months, nearly 70,000 rand a month. Tell me when the number loses you. Because sometimes it's hard to believe, right? And this is all academic, it's just theory. It's a very complicated theory that actuaries put together with regards to a realistic growth model for this business. But after five years, you'll be close in earning a million rand in annual recurring income. Now, no one's actually challenged me on it. No one's come to me after and said, you know what, that path to success, that's just theory, man. I can take an Excel spreadsheet, put a number, say, times 1.2, and just drag it, and the number's just going to get bigger and bigger forever. Which is true, right? But we have got people in this business doing and showing and testifying to the growth that's available in this business. And so I don't have to really rely on this, whether you believe me or not. We're two years old. No one's at five years yet. And we've got people that are close to earning over 100,000 Rand already in the space of two years. And we bring them up onto stage. So we've got people that have been in the business for less than a year, some that have been in the business for over a year, some that are doing less than three plus two, some people are doing three plus two, some are doing more than three plus two. It is just an example. You get to decide how much you want to do in this business. I don't decide it for you. Right? I'd love to give everyone a morning wake-up call. 6 a.m. Good morning, it's Rob from Dewpoint. What are you going to be doing today? I hope you're going to be connecting people. Right? Every morning, that would be great. But it's not going to happen. So here we've got Tanashi. She's been in the business for 12 months. <clears throat> By her own admission, I mean, she joined the business, we never saw her, and then we saw her a little bit, and then she disappeared again, and then she came back. So last night we had these individuals up on stage, and by her own admission she said, no, she's probably only put about four months of effort into the business. She tried to do some other businesses, and she was let down because the investors didn't pitch up, and she came back to Dewpoint. Because we're here, we haven't gone anywhere. Right. And so over the last 12 months, uh, she's been able to get her channel to a value of about 5,000 Rand a month. Um, 
her first pointers, so the number right at the bottom is the personal work she's done. She's introduced, not five in our example, but she's introduced 13 people into her channel. That is translated to over 200 products in her channel. Do you see the power duplication, the leverage? She, did, she doesn't know all 203. She only knows 13 people that she brought into the business. But those 13 went on, and the people that they brought in went on, and her channel is now growing by 40 products a month at the moment. <coughs> We've got Quena. She joined five months ago. Uh, the value of her channel sitting at already 6,000 rand a month. She's got six points open in her business, right? Uh, she's got 145 products in her channel, and she's introduced 24 people into the business. Do you see the leverage? The leverage is generally around 5 to 10 to 1. Then we've got Mavuma. He's been in the business for 18 months. Very experienced network marketer. Um, very committed person to this business. We've got big aspirations for him. He's got big aspirations for himself. The channel value that he has at the moment is nearly at 15,000 rand a month. We've already paid him, so he started at zero like everyone does, but he's already earned nearly 150,000 rand from Dewpoint. Now, I don't know what product he has. How's that for a return? I'll pay for your product 249 rand a month, you pay me 150,000 rand. Not a bad deal, right? <clears throat> his channel size is nearly at 1,000. But he's introduced only 18 people on his first point. He's been slow, but he's been very purposeful in the quality of people that he brings. Doesn't bring anyone. He's very particular about who he brings onto his first point, right? And it's paid off for him, I think. So we've got thousands of people joining this business every single month. Everybody is different. Everyone's, I like to say, everyone's running a different race. Think of it as comrades marathon, right? Everyone's running a different race or a different pace. You've got to decide what you want out of this business. This is your opportunity tonight to design the next five years of your life. Design it. Decide what you want. No one else is going to do it for you. You can let other people do it for you. Your boss will tell you, you, know, you stay here and you work for me. Maybe I'll give you 5% if you're lucky, increase once a year. If you want what you want, you've got to design what you want. You get to choose what you want, right? And then take it. But you've got to be aggressive in the taking. So the decision is not if you want. Everyone wants. The decision is, can you keep yourself accountable to the plan to get to where you want to be? That's the hard part. Because it's not like this. Life is not like this. It's like this. And hopefully it goes up, right? You're going to have all these dips. As many dips as there are rises. And unfortunately, majority of people, you look at the 80-20 rule, 80% of the people give up when they go through the dip. It's too difficult. I can't see down the road. So I'm going to give up. I'm going to go join something else. I'm going to try something else. And they start at zero again. If you keep going through the dips, you'll get to where you want to be. It is not a straight line. So for me, always the decision is not, do you want to be a wealth engineer? Do you want to be a millionaire? Those are non-events for me. It is, have you decided in your head how you're going to fit your point into your life? Every single day. Have you thought about that yet? I'm going to ask you at the end of the presentation. Right? For me, that is the decision. That's so important. Getting started in this business is straightforward. Go onto our website, click on the apply button, do it through the mobile app. Seven minutes later, you're a wealth engineer. Right? Read our code of conduct. That's important. More importantly, focus now on this business that is in your name, this asset that you get to start building for yourself. Right? Look at the, watch the online training. We've got tons of training available so that you don't have to make the mistakes everyone else in the past has made. You can get a step ahead of everybody, right off the bat, if you're willing to go watch the training. Set goals for yourself, which I've dis just discussed. Design what you want in your lives. We are discriminated against in the system, right? The whole system is designed to give preference to people who have got work experience, degrees, that have done well in the system. And the rest of us get told, this is what you can have because of where and who you've been in the past. This business doesn't do that. We don't care. We've got wealth engineers joining today. I haven't met a single one of them. And if they decide to do the business or whether they decide to do nothing, it means nothing to us. 
It means the world to you, though. And that's why it's so important that you focus on the set the goals, prepare the plan to get there, and the simple task of connecting somebody every day. If you're not speaking to people every day, you're not doing the business. Right? We could be the most perfect business in the world. It still relies on you connecting people to this opportunity. And people are hungry for opportunity. you just got to connect them. Merchandise. The merchandise is designed to help you build trust in that connection that you're trying to build. Right? If I just walk in randomly, I'm wearing a pair of jeans, I don't have any merchandise, I don't have business cards, and I say to somebody, oh, I've got a business opportunity for you. Or if I sit down and I've got a Dewpoint notebook and a Dewpoint pen and I've got a business card, who do you think the person's going to trust more when I speak about Dewpoint? Guys, the merchandise is not a profit center for us. These are tools to empower you in being successful in connecting people. For me, foremost are those business cards. Might, you might think, oh, business cards are traditional. The old people use business cards. Traditional things build trust. People trust tradition, right? Get the business cards. I promise you they will help you in this business. Join our Facebook page. We keep everyone abreast of what's happening in our offices if you're on the Facebook page because we produce content every single day of what we're thinking about, what we're planning, any tips and hints. YouTube, all our videos get put there, so all the long-form videos, the intro presentations, a lot of the um, testimonies are up there, um, a lot of the training is up there, so go take a look at that. There's about 500 videos on there already, all categorized for you, and then make sure you download the mobile app onto your smartphone. Because the mobile app tells you in real time what is happening in your business, right? It allows you to monitor the vital statistics of your business. And that you cannot do without. If you don't have a smartphone, guess what you're going to be investing in in the next couple of months? Is a smartphone. Because right? you have to have that app. You can access everything on the website. So if you've got a website at home, I mean a computer at home or at work, you can access everything through that. But make sure that you have access to uh, that information. Then on to our rewards program. right? So don't forget about the rewards program. This is the cherry on top here at Dewpoint. Uh, once you have success at Dewpoint, there are additional rewards that you can derive out of Dewpoint. So... If you become a wealth engineer this evening, you will start out as rank zero in our rewards program. Um, and you need to earn what we call XP, and your channel needs to grow in size for you to rank up and earn any of these rewards. So to earn 1,000 XP is very simple. So there's a number of ways that you can earn XP, coming to presentations, doing home presentations, bringing guests with you, logging into your mobile app. There's 20 different ways that earn you XP. Um, you can earn 1,000 XP in 30 seconds. You need four products in your qualified channel, and when you meet those two criteria, you become a rank one wealth engineer, and you earn an additional 55 rand at the end of that month, once off. I'd always say you must go celebrate getting to rank one. Take the 55 rand, you buy a donut or a slice of cake, and you celebrate early success. All right? I'm being facetious, but there's a lesson in it, because you've just proven to yourself, if you can get to rank one, You've just proven to yourself that you can get to any rank in this business. How can I say that? Because the rank 1s are doing exactly the same thing as the rank 20s are doing. They're just connecting people on a daily basis. There is nothing special about a rank 20. Just that they've been doing it longer and maybe harder than a rank 1. That's the only difference. You're doing the same activity. And as you start to grow in the rewards program, ranking up with more XP, a bigger channel, there are much bigger rewards waiting for you. 20, 50,000 Rand checks. We give tools to our wealth engineers that help them build their channels more effectively. We get 12,500 Rand business cards manufactured for our rank 7 wealth engineers, right? Again, it speaks to the value in credibility and trust when you're trying to design connections with people. You put a 12,500 Rand business card on the table, I promise you people take you seriously. I promise you. I've been working in advertising long enough. It's all about the look, right? So use it to your advantage. Rank 7 is around the corner for you. Rank 9 is our first recurring reward. We will take you and your family um, on a seven-day, all-expenses-paid trip to a five-star luxury resort, business class flights, all-expenses-paid trip, not once, every single year for the rest of your life. You can get to rank nine in five months if you want to, because someone's done it already. 
So I'm sure we'll find someone who'll do it in four months, right? We have a majority of our wealth engineers that made rank nine in the last two years did it in 12 months. Some will take two years. Majority of people, I think, that work consistently in this business should take about three or four years to get to rank nine. So take a look at what rank nine is all about. We've documented it nicely. in the sand, the smell of the sea breeze, sitting in business class for the rest of your life. It is available for every single person in this room. Every one of you can have this waiting for you. At rank 11, we spend a quarter of a million rand on a brand new car and give it to our wealth engineers. That's already happened. People have done it in less than two years. Imagine driving around in a car that you never had to pay for. Pay for cash. No debit order at the end of the month. That's the car you want to own, is the one without the debit order. So this is what our rewards program looks like. It goes up to rank 28. This is just getting warmed up, whether you believe it or not. I think people, by the time they get the free car, they think they're rich. Right? I'm telling you, you're only getting warmed up in this business. If you've stuck it out for two, three, four years in this business, year 20 is going to look glorious for you. Because that's the longevity that we plan for the business. When we sit in management meetings, we don't talk about just this week, next month. We know where we want to be in five years' time, where we want this business to be in 20 years' time, the legacy that we want to build in this country. You can be part of that. We've got Teamworks every Saturday now. Teamworks Workshop is a meeting, a workshop that we have straight after our intro presentation on Saturday morning. So you can see it starts at 11.30 on Saturday morning, where we go over the fundamentals of this business. If you are a new wealth engineer or someone that's been in the business for a little bit and you're not quite 
getting to terms with what you be, need to be doing in this business or what you need to be focusing on, make sure that you watch a Teamworks. You can come to head office. We're going to be broadcasting the workshop live. Uh, we've got a permanent one that's available on YouTube if you want to go watch one of the older ones. The format's typically the same, but you get to talk to me and Brendan about any of the concerns that you have, and we will focus you on what you need to be focused on in this business. And that is so important. There are so many distractions when it comes to life. We want to get you focused so that you are as effective as possible. So make sure that you um, at least watch one of, one of these at least. And if you become a wealth engineer, everyone in your team should have watched a Teamworks, right? Very important presentation for any new wealth engineer. Guys, we are done. I said I was going to ask you for a decision at the end of the presentation. Don't worry, you don't need to answer me. <laughs> don't be nervous. Right? But really, when are we going to be tired of the circumstance that every person finds themselves in this country? It doesn't matter whether you're earning 5,000 Rand a month or 200,000 Rand a month. Everyone is taking a knock, right? If you're earning 200,000 Rand a month, it just means you're spending more. You see people in big houses defaulting on those payments. There's a car auction coming up this weekend. There are two million rand cars up for auction because people couldn't keep up their payments. Right? It doesn't matter who you are. When are we going to be tired of the circumstance? When are we going to get desperate enough that we decide we are forced to do something? When you've got to think about it every day. Like I said, I'd love to give everyone a wake-up call in the morning and say, Right, how many people are we connecting today? But that's something that you have to keep yourself accountable to. It is a simple task of just speaking to someone and saying, hey, I know you're struggling, I've got something that might help you. That's all you have to say. And the majority of the people will say no to you. But our success is not based on the majority. Our success is based on the 5% of people that eventually join you and start building your business for you. That is where the success lies. You have to become rejection proof in this business. If you can't handle rejection, well, either you're going to have to have some personal development lined up very quickly, or this business is not going to work for you. If you've ever been in sales or ever tried to start your own business, rejection is part of the road, the journey. Right? And it's not any different in this business. Unless you go to a get-rich-quick scheme presentation, they say, no, it's easy. It's easy. You just put all your money here, bond your house, put all the money here. You can't lose. That's the language that they use in those schemes, right? Not in this business. We are focused here on sustainable wealth building, right? And we know how to do it. We've done it in the past. We've got, fortunately, we've got some wonderful people in this business that have that experience that they're willing to share with us. So I invite you to join us at Dewpoint. Join us. If you're still skeptical, why not try it for one month? I invite you to join us for one month. But those 30 days that you give me, I want to see you put 110% effort into those 30 days to give this business the best shot possible. That's all you have to give me. And I promise you, by the end of 30 days, this business would have produced more value for you than you've done ever in your life. Because you can build on those 30 days. In 60 days, you can double it. In 90 days, you can triple it. That's the beauty of building an asset, that you get to build on an asset. Not a salary. A salary is fixed, maybe 5% increase a year. Think about 20 years' time when you retire. How much do you think you're going to be earning compared to today? Pretty much the same, right? Especially if you're my age. When you get to 40, your salary is not going to move much after that. We have to be focused on true wealth creation, and it takes years. And that's what I invite you to do, to run onto this field and play this game. But you have to start running and chase that ball. Right? We've got Soccer World Cup. Your life by the next Soccer World Cup can be drastically different than what it is today. So I invite you to come do hard work with us. This is a business where everyone is going in the same direction. We're all collaborating. No one is in competition with each other here in this business, right? which is very different to the outside world. And so if you have any questions, come speak to me. But I hope you have an amazing week and an even better year, a year that stands out from all the others. So good luck. Come speak to me if you have any questions. Have a wonderful week. Thanks. Thank you.